ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल फोर्स ई लर्निंग क्लासेस नो प्रॉब्लम्स हेयर द सर्किल टू विच टू टेंजेंट्स कैन बी ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ऑरिजिन इज द सर्किल टू विच टू टेंजेंट्स कैन बी ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ऑरिजिन इज हेयर वी नो दैट टू टेंजेंट्स कैन बी ड्रॉन टू द circle from a point if s11 is positive the power of the point is positive s1 value is positive now we draw two tangents drawn from a external point to the circle here s11 here question the circle to which two tangents can be drawn from origin this is origin here now the circle is what okay here s11 value is positive then we can draw two tangents to the circle from an external point observe here origin here from first option option 1 if s11 value is positive then option is correct right option 1 here option 1 s11 value is minus 3 here 0 x1 y1 means what 0 comma 0 here s11 value is minus 3 therefore this is the not correct option okay s11 value must be positive option 2 option 2 S11 value is 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. S11 value is 2. Here, two tangents drawn from origin to this circle. Next, option 3. Option 3. Here, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here, S11 value 1. Here, two tangents drawn from origin to this circle. Therefore, answer. here fourth one both 2 and 3 here correct option is fourth one both 2 and 3 here both to here the options 2 and 3 s11 value is positive s11 values are positive therefore two tangents can be drawn from origin to these two circles okay now fourth one answer both 2 and 3 2 and 3 options are correct answer fourth option okay students next problem The line 4y minus 3x plus lambda equal to zero touches the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equal to zero. Then lambda equal to here. This is the given circle. This is the given line. Here given line touches the circle. Then lambda equal to what? Here if the line the line touches the circle, then condition. R equal to D. R equal to D. Okay. Here, center of given circle two comma four, two comma four radius. Now radius under root of four plus sixteen twenty plus five twenty five. Therefore, R equal to five. Now we have condition r equal to d if the line the line touches the circle then condition r equal to d here r equal to 5 d means what d means what length of the perpendicular from center to the given line therefore minus 3 into x here x equal to 2 plus 4 into 4 plus lambda Plus lambda divided by under root of four square three square plus four square. It is nine plus sixteen. Okay, now five equal to modulus of here sixteen minus six ten. Ten plus lambda by five. Okay, now we get twenty five. 
ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू मॉडलस ऑफ टेन प्लस लैमडा देर फोर टेन प्लस लैमडा इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव देर फोर लैमडा इक्वल टू माइनस प्लस आर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टेन नौ लैमडा इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टेन फिफ्टीन आर आर माइनस थर्टी फाइव आर माइनस थर्टी फाइव लैमडा इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन आर माइनस थर्टी फाइव ओके नेक्स्ट लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर टैंजेंस टू द सर्किल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस सिक्स वाई माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो ईज वी नो दट द लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर टैंजेंस टू द सर्किल इज ऑल्सो ए सर्किल इट इज कॉल्ड डायरेक्टर सर्किल ऑफ द गिवेन सर्किल दिस इज द गिवेन सर्किल दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड सर्किल ओके हेयर दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड सर्किल हेयर इफ द वॉट इज इज द लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर टैंजेंस टू द सर्किल अंदा दिस इज वॉट डायरेक्ट सर्किल ओके हेयर दिस इज द गिवेन सर्किल दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड सर्किल हेयर tangents drawn from any point on this circle to this circle which are always perpendicular the tangents drawn from any point on this circle to given circle which are always perpendicular now this circle is called a direct circle of this circle okay the yes, center of given circle center of given circle is what here 2 comma 3 radius under root of 4 plus 9 13 plus 1 14 okay right here given circle given circle is in the form x minus 2 x minus 2 whole square y minus 3 whole square equal to 14 okay right now required circle A required circle is in the form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to 2 r square required circle is in the form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal 2 r square we know very well the direct circle of the circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to 2 r square now it is x x minus 2 x minus 2 whole square Plus y minus 3 whole square equal to 2 into r square. Here r square value is 14. Now simplify this. X square, x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y. Here 4 plus 9, 13. Right side 28. Left side plus 13. Right side plus 28. Taking left side 13 minus 28. it is minus 15 equal to 0 this is the required circle now equation of this circle is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 15 equal to 0 okay students next problem the circle with the center 4 comma minus 1 and touching x axis is the circle with the center 4 comma minus 1 and touching x axis right it is c in diagram here center 4 comma minus 1 4 comma minus 1 lies in fourth quadrant and circle touching x axis right center
center 4 comma minus 1 okay here equation of the circle is what equation of the circle is what the circle touching x axis then we have condition r equal to k this is radius of the circle okay this length is 4 this length is 1 here the circle touching x axis but suppose this point is h comma k h comma k the circle touches x axis we have one condition r equal to k r equal to k here k equal to what 1 okay actually this y coordinate is minus 1 but this length is 1 this length is 4 this length is 1 okay right here radius of the circle here required circle required circle touches x axis implies r equal to 1 therefore equation of circle equation of circle is center 4 comma minus 1 4 comma minus 1 here x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square equal to 1 square implies implies x square plus y square minus 8x plus 2y left side 16 plus 1 1 1 cancel plus 16 equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 8x plus 2 by plus 16 equal to this is the required circle here yeah? circle touching x axis in this case we have radius of the circle equal to what k here k is what 1 okay actually y equal to the center is minus 1 but this length is 1 this length is 4 this length is 4 this length is 1 therefore radius is always greater than 0 therefore r equal to 1 here radius of the circle is 1 center is what 4 comma minus 1 according to the formula x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square now simplifying we get required circle equation x square plus y square minus 8x plus 2 by plus 16 equal to 0 okay students next problem if the line hx plus ky equal to 1 by a touches the circle x square plus y square equal to a square in the locus of h comma k is a circle of radius this is the given circle x square plus y square equal to a square x square plus y square equal to a square at next this is the given line here given line is what hx hx plus ky equal to 1 by a here question given line touches the circle the line touches the circle then condition r equal to d r equal to d here center of the circle is what 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 now we use condition r equal to d here first to find locus of h comma k the locus of h comma k is another circle the radius of that circle is what question here r equal to d r equal to d here r means radius of the circle a d here d means length of the perpendicular from center to the given line here given line h into 0 center is what 0 comma 0 here k into 0 minus 1 by a by under root of h square plus k square okay now cross multiplying and squaring on both sides now a into under root of h square plus k square equal to 1 by a now squaring and cross modifying we get h square h square plus k square equal to here a square here a square 1 by a power of 4 1 by a power of 4 now locus of h comma k locus of h comma k is 
locus of h comma k is x square plus y square x square plus y square equal to 1 by a power of 4. Now, radius of this circle is what question? Locus of h comma k is a circle. Now, radius of this circle what? Radius equal to 1 by a square. Right? Friends, here the line hx plus ky equal to 1 by a touches the circle. This is the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. The given line given line touches this circle then use condition r equal to d here r equal to d we get locus of h comma k is x square plus y square equal to 1 by a power of 4 question radius of this circle is what here radius it is in the form x square plus y square equal to r square where r equal to 1 by a square so students next question the intercept made by the circle with the center 2 comma 3 and radius 6 on y axis is here the intercept made by the circle with the center 2 comma 3 and the radius 6 on y axis it means the length of the intercept made by the circle on y axis the length of the intercept made by the circle on y axis we have formula for this 2 into under root of f square minus c the length of the intercept made by the the intercept made by the circle s equal to 0 on y axis is what 2 into under root of f square minus c now here f is given here center given minus g minus f equal to 2 comma 3 therefore here g equal to minus 2 f equal to minus 3 now radius of the circle is given r equal to 6 first find the value of c r equal to 6 here under root of g square plus f square minus c equal to 6 ok now under root of g square 4 4 plus 9 minus c equal to 6 equal to 6 now squaring on both sides 13 minus c equal to 13 minus c equal to 36 now c equal to minus 19 sorry 13 minus 36 it is minus 23 c equal to 13 minus 36 it is minus 23 now the length of the intercept length of intercept length of intercept on y axis y axis 2 into under root of f square minus c now implies 2 into under root of f square here f square means what 9 minus c here minus into minus plus 23 write as 2 into under root of 32 write as 16 into 2 4 outside 8 root 2 ok 2 into 4 outside 8 root 2 therefore the length of the intercept made by the circle having centered 2 comma 3 and radius 6 on y axis is 8 root 2 okay. students another question here 2x plus y equal to 0 is the equation of a diameter of the circle which touches the lines 4x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0 and 4x minus 3y minus 30 equal to 0 the center and the radius of the circle are question here 2x plus y equal to 0 is the equation of a diameter of the circle that circle touches the given lines 4x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0 and 4x minus 3y minus 30 equal to 0 then center and the radius of the circle are friends here in question given lines are parallel they are required here given circle touches the lines which are parallel here 4x minus 3 by plus 10 equal to 0 and 4x minus 3 by minus 30 equal to 0 these two are parallel lines here circle touching these two lines now here 
this is what diameter of the circle now diameter equal to length of the diameter here diameter equal to length of the diameter of the circle equal to distance between <coughs> distance between given lines distance between given lines here given lines means what parallel lines now d here diameter means what d length of the diameter means what d d equal to according to the formula distance between the parallel lines formula we have c1 minus c2 c1 minus c2 by under root of under root of a square plus b square a modulus of c1 so c1 value 10 c2 minus 30 it is plus 30 by under root of a square 16 plus b square 9 this is 40 by 5 this is equal to what 8 by 8 so here d equal to 8 therefore r equal to 4 r equal to 4 here radius of the circle is what 4 from the options radius 4 first option and third option here from the first option and third option radius is what 4 therefore second fourth eliminated here option 2 option 4 are eliminated now only we check option 1 and option 3 here in question given diameter here diameter of the circle is given here center lies on the diameter from the options 1 and 3 which point satisfies 3x plus y equal to 0 that is the center of the circle right here from option 1 option 1 implies 2 into minus 2 plus 1 here 2x plus y equal to 0 center must be satisfied this equation here 2 into minus 2 plus 1 ok not equal to 0 next option 2 option 2 2 into here 1 by minus 2 which is 0 therefore option 2 is correct option 2 is sorry option 3 option 3 here option 3 is correct observe friends here 2x plus y equal to 0 is the equation of diameter of the circle which touches the lines 4x minus 3 by plus 10 equal to 0 and 4x minus 3 by minus 30 equal to 0 the center and the radius of the circle are here given circle touching the given lines which are parallel now distance between the two parallel lines is the length of the diameter of the circle now first length of the diameter circle equal to what 8 radius of the circle is what 4 from options here yeah, radius 4 first option and third option therefore second and fourth options are eliminated now only we check first and the third right here in question given 2x plus y equal to 0 is the equation of the diameter of the circle center must be lies on the uh, diameter therefore we check first option and third option centers here minus 2 comma 1 not satisfies 2x plus y equal to 0 here 1 comma minus 2 satisfies 2x plus y equal to 0 therefore option 3 is the correct option questions next problem equation of circles touching x axis at the origin and the line 4x minus 3 by plus 24 equal to 0 r equation of circles touching x axis at the origin and the line 4x minus 3 by plus 24 equal to 0 r right Here equation of circles touching x axis at the origin this is the x axis
required circles right okay yeah, required these two circles okay yeah, these two circles touches x axis at the origin okay next and these two circles touching the lines okay the circle touching the line touching the line this line is this line is 4x 4x minus 3y plus 24 equal to 0 okay these are the required circles right in this case center must be lies on the y axis centers of centers of required circles centers of required circles lies on y axis lies on y axis implies center equal to 0 comma minus f 0 comma minus f here centers of required circles 0 comma minus f okay now here given line given line touches touches required circle given line touches required circle now using condition r equal to d here a line touches the circle we use condition r equal to d right or r equal to d right here radius of the circle is what here r equal to f right here r e this point is what 0 comma minus f therefore this length r equal to what f r equal to f now using condition r equal to d f equal to d here d means what length of the perpendicular from center to the given line here given line 4 into right 4 into x means 0 minus 3 into minus f plus 24 plus 24 by under root of 4 square plus minus 3 whole square it is 5 now cross multiplication phi f phi f equal to phi f equal to here 3 f plus 24 modulus of 3 f plus 24 now 3 f plus 24 equal to plus or minus phi f plus or minus phi f now here 24 equal to plus or minus phi f minus 3 f we get f equal to we get f equal to if uh, it is plus 5 f minus 3 f 2 f 2 f equal to 24 2 f equal 24 f equal to 12 if uh, minus 5 f minus 5 f minus 3 f equal 24 minus 8 f equal to 24 therefore f equal to minus 3 f equal to minus 3 therefore required circles circles equations of circles x minus 0 whole square x minus 0 whole square actually here equations of circles in the form in this case x square plus y square plus 2fy equal to 0 
in this case equations of circles in the form x square plus y square plus 2 f y equal to 0 the circle passing through origin c value is 0 center lies on y axis g value is 0 therefore circles in the form x square plus y square plus 2 f y equal to 0 implies x square plus y square if f equal to 12 if f equal to 12 then it is 24 y equal to 0 and another is f equal to minus 3 x square x square plus y square if f equal to minus 3 it is minus 6 y equal to 0 therefore these are the required circles right here students question equations of circles equations of circles which touches x axis at the origin and touching the line 4x minus 3y plus 24 equal to 0. This is the diagram. Here yeah, these two circles touches x axis at the origin and touching the line 4x minus 3y plus 24 equal to 0. The circle touches x axis at the origin, then the centers are in uh, center is in the form 0, comma minus f. Center lies on y axis. Required circles are in the form x square plus y square plus 2 f y equal to 0. Therefore, here g value is 0 and c value is 0. Uh, this, this is the required circle x square plus y square plus 3 f y equal to 0 here f value is required therefore here using condition here centers of required circles lies on y axis center equal to what 0 comma minus f given line touches required circle using condition r equal to d r equal to d here r equal to f actually from diagram radius of circle is what f now f equal to d, d means what length of the perpendicular from center to the given line, we get f equal to 12 and minus 3. Now f equal to here 12, f equal to minus 3. Here if, if plus 24, then center is what 0 comma minus 12. Here, g, this is, this circle equation is x square plus y square plus 24 y equal to 0. This circle equation is x square plus y square minus 6y equal to 0. Here, two circles here. 